So let's get started, all right? WWE. I'm going to jump to WWE Raw. We're on June 10th. And the angle I want to talk about is the Liv and Dominic Mysterio angle. All right, so we're going to start off our show with that one. Let's go over what happened. Let's. So it started off where Liv, I guess, was just sitting where the Judgment Day hang out, right? Judgment Day have like a little room or a corner or something. And Liv Morgan was over there just chilling, looking nice. Dominic Mysterio shows up. Dominic is like, get out of here, you know. Really, really like to see me too. I don't want anything to do with that, and I don't want anything to do with you. So. Listen, I get it, but... All right, so he does say, I don't want anything to do with you, but she ends up giving him the room key anyways. <laughs> and <laughs> she sticks it into his shirt. Gorby. Oh, yeah, she does oh, tell him that he shouldn't be with someone who he has to call mommy, but he should be with someone who calls him daddy. So this is, uh, this is starting to get a little X-rated, right? Guys, I mean, people say the PG era is over, but... This is certainly one sign of this. Liv Morgan is one of the first ones they're unleashing on the people. Yeah. Next scene. The rest of Judgment Day and Carlito. I guess he's not in Judgment Day, but he hangs out with them. And... Judgment Day with Carlito. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so they're talking to Dominic, and Dominic is like, you know, yeah, Liv Morgan gave me the room key, and Carlito's the only one who says That's cool, because that's his catchphrase, right? from back in yeah. the day but the other two are like no that's that's not cool this is definitely not good and then they end that scene there i hear something about some hotel card business What's whoa, up? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so this is where damien shows up and he's saying what's this i hear about a room key and then they can't even find the room key so in this scene the room key goes missing that's what happens and they can't find it and they got to leave for the match so they have a match later against Braun Strowman, which Judgment Day have been feuding with Braun Strowman. So there's a six-man tag against Braun Strowman and Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee. So I'm going to skip to that. And that's when... Here's Rey Mysterio. Kind of a continuation of the Rey Dominic feud. They didn't really get involved with each other too much, but Dominic did get a little drop kick on him there. And then this is where Liv Morgan shows up. All right, so this is the scene. So Liv shows up on the apron. And Dominic leaves the ring to the floor and is yelling at her, telling her to get out. Zelina Vega is on the other side, and she's the one who's going to knock Liv Morgan off the ring and onto Dominic Mysterio. There it is. <laughs> and she lands right on Dominic. Pat McAfee has the light of the night here. What the hell's going on? <laughs> and then Zelina Vega is the buzz kill right there we covered last week he's not really doing anything to stop her when she's making right. these advances you know so vlad says obviously he kind of likes it and in this case he's got to go with Liv because he can't go back with Rhea at this point it's already over let me skip through the rest of this match hold on one second so all that commotion does lead to the braun Strowman team winning and beating judgment day on this night so what happens later in the evening, they do go back to the Judgment Day hanging out in the back again. And Dominic Mysterio does find the room key this time, right? It's in his pocket or it was in his pants. So Damien just basically told him, look, you got to put your foot down with Liv. Just tell her to stop it. And that's the end of it for this evening. And then they kind of dissipate and talk about other Judgment Day business because Finn had a, a match against Drew McIntyre later that had implications for Damien's world title match. But that's basically the end of the angle here for Liv Morgan. And as we sit on Sunday night, this was all we have because nothing happened at the pay-per-view at Clash at the Castle. There was nothing to do with Dominic or Liv. Neither of them were there. Let's get some grades for this angle today. So the angle is Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio. Liv Morgan seducing Dominic Mysterio and stealing him away from real Ripley. Start with Vlad. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, I mean, I, I get, I, I think I graded it, but what did I say? Did I say two thumbs up? I think I said two thumbs up, right? But I think that as we're watching this, the acting is not really that great, and it's kind of not really believable. But it's, I'll give it a one because it is entertaining, and I've laughed a couple of times, especially the room hotel key stuff where they couldn't find it where is it i thought it was pretty funny 
It was like, oh, oh, oh I have it. And he's like, she must have planted it on me. And David Bruce like, that's impossible, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought there was some interesting things here, but overall, you know. Yeah, it was a little dopey, sure. You're giving it one single thumb up, not a two give, thumbs up. Not completely two. I'll give it one thumb up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Robert, how about you? You got a grade for this angle today? I'll give it a thumbs up. Um, I mean, I, I'm used to bad acting and wrestling already, so that that didn't really bug me so much. The p- part of this angle that I didn't really care for much is the part that involves Braun Strowman, Dragon Lee, Rey Mysterio. They're like, it could have been really any, anybody that they fought in that match. It, it didn't really make a difference. So the, really the highlight of this angle was Liv and Dominic. So because of that, I'll give it a, just one thumb up. I'll say this much. Uh, Dominic has a lot more willpower than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, I agree. he's trying to toe the line. He's not really running away from her, but he's not really telling her to leave either. I just want to make one point about one thing that you said about, you know, it's still PG-13 or is it still PG-13? I mean, I think in Attitude Era, they would have already shown like somebody in the hotel or something, like somebody in bed by now, something like that, you know? So I think that's the difference, I would say. Yeah, but look I at this. Look at this image that we're, we're paused on. This is like a rated R image, man. Come on. People know what's going on here. Sure, sure, of course. It's, look it's, at Liv it's, Morgan. It's, They're basically doing it, man. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But yes, I see what you're saying. It's definitely supposed to uh, imply something, obviously, that's definitely not for kids. I'll give you that much. But it's not nowhere near where we were with bad attitude, where everybody was, where yeah. where women were walking around naked practically. You know, that's true. Yeah, it's not rated R yet, but it, it is PG thirteen kind of. It's not PG. It's like gone one step up. At least it's not kitty stuff. So that's kind of good. All right. Well, me too. I'm giving this angle from Monday a thumbs up. 